I'm relaxing. I don't have my car this week. My girl's coming to pick me up, though. Look at my freaking muscles, dude. All from working construction. You work in construction, you're fucking up, bro. Anyway, man. Tips and tricks of bulking. All right. So you've been lifting, right? You've been doing your deadlifts, your bench press, and your squats. Oh, wait, you haven't? You're fucking up, bro. I thought you said you wanted to put on weight. You got to do compound lifts. Compound lifts. Compound lifts. Okay? Those, those use more than one muscle group. So that's how you're going to optimize your time that you spend in the gym. I'm assuming you have a job or something. So you're going to you're gonna need to go to the gym for 30 minutes. At least. Alright, this okay. is 265, yo. I've been PRing every fucking week this month. Let's see if I can hit this shit. Try to be consistent. Don't kill yourself. I don't understand people who start going to the gym and then they literally do like the most intense workout that they could find for over an hour. Your body is not acclimatized to that like hard work or effort yet. Your muscles are just going to be taxed and you're not going to be able to go back to the gym the next day. You're just going to hate yourself, you know? You want to make it something you enjoy. To make it something you enjoy, the best thing you could do for yourself is to make it easy and enjoyable. The workouts that you enjoy. But you absolutely must do the deadlift, bench press, and the squat. I mean, I guess you could replace a squat with a hack squat or a machine to aid yourself if you don't like the squats, because I personally hate the squats. I, I didn't really start doing them until like a year and a half after I started working out. Always, always on the bench press, though. I love that. You see my chest development? Dude, my chest used to look like this over here. You've seen it before, so you know. Anyway, so after you've been lifting, you're getting your compound workouts in, okay? Now is the time. The most important aspect is recovery and food. So look at this right here. This is planters peanuts. I got this as Wegmans. I don't know what stores you have in your area. But look at the calorie content on this. The nutritional facts are all in the back so you can see it, okay? 190 calories per serving. There are 11 servings in that, okay? So if you're saying 11 times 190, it's something like 2,000 calories, right? And this small bag of peanuts. It's because it's honey roasted. So a guy like me, I'm six foot two, 168 pounds. It takes me, I have to eat more than 4,500 calories if I want to put on one pound of body weight. I have to do it consistently too. So I burn a lot of calories. I have a high metabolism. So if you're somebody similar to me, maybe you're from a culture where most of your people have high metabolisms. I'm assuming, anyway, <laughs> I'm assuming you're a guy like me who's trying to put on muscle. That's why you're watching this video, right? So you probably struggle to put on muscle. So guys, that's called being a hard gainer. Being a hard gainer sucks, dude. Because it's so hard for you to put on muscle, fat, anybody, like, mass pretty much. But guess what? What they don't tell you about being a hard gainer is you could look like this. See, most people only look at the negatives when they see things that they don't like. Me, I try to look at the silver lining always. The silver lining I knew going into the gym, I weighed 132 pounds when I started going to the gym. But guess what? I knew that being this lean, all I would have to do is remain consistent in the gym. And even if I eat a lot of calories, not stop working out, like it was imperative I don't stop working out because those calories will go somewhere if I don't burn them off. That's a fact. That's a fact. But anyway, I want you to have three square meals a day, okay? Three square meals. In the morning when you get up, drink something calories that you drink are easier to put down than calories that you eat in the morning you might not feel like eating like a big meal or even anything at all me i don't really have an appetite when i wake up in the morning my appetite comes around 10 o'clock so you're gonna make yourself a protein shake by ensure or something like just whatever protein meal or anything any drink of some sort that has 400 to 500 calories you could even do more calories than that that's what i usually do anyway it gives me a good start, a good base to my day. Usually by lunchtime, I usually have like two meals done by then because like I said, I eat at 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock, I like to have myself just a small meal, maybe a sandwich or something I made the night before 
or I'll cook myself some rice and peas. I'll cook myself some plain rice and some chicken or something, you know, bring it to work. And that's my 10 o'clock meal. At 12 o'clock now, that's when I like to have a snack, a high calorie snack. So these peanuts that you saw, I just showed you, th this was my snack today at lunch. So I had a thousand calories at lunch for my snack. And I drank one of those intense um, chocolate milks. I don't know if you guys know those. Those are so amazing, dude. 400 calories in chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. And it's rich in calories, so it's ideal for me. Okay? So that's what I do to bulk, man. You gotta be consistent, yo. You know you wanna, you wanna get those calories down, but it's almost impossible to eat the amount of food that you need, right? You're gonna eat that food consistently for a while, dude. And that's the sucky part. So I try to drink a lot of my calories. Anyway. The most important aspect that I haven't mentioned yet is sleep. So some people say you need six to eight hours. I find I'm optimal around five, five and a half hours sleep. If you're a, if you're a person who needs more than five hours of sleep, it's absolutely imperative that you get that sleep because you won't recover. You will not recover. Your body is just going to be tearing down. You're not going to be able to go to the gym as consistently as you need to. See, I've been to the gym over 250 days in the last year. I, I only skip the gym once or twice a week and I've been consistent the entire time the entire time you don't need to do that you're gonna be pretty much a new person in the gym you need to be consistent but not as intense okay I need you to go to the gym at least two to three times a week don't go to the gym two days in a row never go to the gym two days in a row okay few months go by and you're feeling more comfortable you can handle a little bit more workload yeah go ahead and like start working out a little longer start working out more intensely you can go work out every day if you want i work out every single day if i can usually i get to like four or five six days and then my body feels like you know i'm in pain and i need to take a couple days off then i, I will i will and then i'll just do it all over again i'm a psycho though you don't want to be a psycho like me <laughs> anyway guys you want to change. You want to stay consistent. It's not about who does the most extravagant thing, you know? It's who's consistent the longest. Who's consistent the longest. You can really use any exercise and get the result that you want with enough time and patience and effort. What I'm giving you is the most optimal way. Because like I said, guys, I've been working 58 hours a week for like the past two months now. It's about to be the beginning of my apprenticeship soon, so I've been trying to just stack up as much bread as I can, you know? Anyway, my ride's here. Make sure, you guys, when you go to the gym, do not push yourself too hard. Use compound exercises to your advantage. You can work out more than one muscle group at a time. Make sure you get optimal sleep. Rest. And anyway, guys, <clears throat> make sure you take care of yourself. Keep lifting. Get yourself some snacks. Herp out. I still shot aviators, thousand dollar tips for my waiter. Pre insured thing, I'm a skater. Burp slit, he's an equator. Bird box, can't see the hater. No, he snitch an interrogator. Talking, talking, telephone operator. Pussy, he a snake, he a trader. Bottom 